right, folks, I'm going to do a little bit of narration here on this video. It's replacing the attic steps or attic ladder that we did just before the new year. Here I am putting down some paper to protect our floors. I used a piece of scrap wood there to protect the drywall because I really didn't want to do any drywall work. Uh, had to remind myself very quickly that I needed to use a razor blade around the outside edge to break that paint seal and then I could use a hammer and pry bar with that piece of scrap wood to take the trim off. Wasn't worried about saving the trim as much as saving the drywall. Once I did that I ended up using a uh, sawzall to cut around specifically the short ends of the attic stairs first and then there I am with the sawzall then I could use some more scrap to hold the stairs up while I cut the long ends of the attic stairs and side note always wear safety glasses when you use a sawzall I actually got something in my eye had to go to the eye doctor and thankfully she was kind enough to see me right away and take it out. So all is good on that front. Here you can see I did a relatively decent job not messing up the drywall. I would end up messing it up anyway. You can see some of the shims that they used to fill in the gaps around the opening and there's a nice hole in the drywall like I said. I messed it up anyway. Before doing this project, I did some research on YouTube, found a video where a guy took his stairs out and his son actually caught him as they were about to fall on the floor. So this part made me really nervous. Uh, my dad was helping, my wife was there, and of course my kids were supervising. But we didn't have any issues, even though I was afraid we would end up messing up our floor. Came out relatively well. We pushed it up into the attic first just to make sure everything was loose and then we kind of tipped it sideways and pulled it down. Definitely a two-person job. Uh, a third person makes it a lot easier just in case something goes wrong and you can always have them open up the door so you can take the big thing outside. It's not necessarily super heavy. It's just kind of awkward and you really don't want to mess around with those springs because they will hurt. Once we were done taking it out, we took out all of the spacers that they put in there and I put a piece of poly iso on top just to keep the heat inside the house before we had to continue the next day where we actually had to add some framing uh, just to beef up the structure in the attic. Uh, thankfully my dad had a nail gun that we could use made it a little bit faster, a little bit easier. Um, you'll see uh, in a minute or uh, early on in the video that nailer works great but all that dust made it very hard because we have loose insulation in the attic and that's part of why we're getting the stairs out is so that we can replace that but there you can see some of that loose insulation and it's just cellulose it's not uh, poisonous or anything like that but it is certainly a pain in the butt to deal with so we got some uh, lumber and went all the way around all four sides of the opening and cut it to fit, nailed it in, and periodically we had to wait for the compressor to catch up with the uh, nail gun. You can see that little blast of air coming out. That did wonders with that loose insulation.
And if you don't believe me about the loose insulation, just watch. You'll understand. Now when we were nailing in the, especially the longer sides, uh, but also up front near the hinge, we wanted to make sure we missed where we put those nails in, uh, missed any conflict with the bolts that came with the stairs. We didn't want to uh, get in the way of those. So we kind of planned it out a little bit ahead of time and made sure we were in the right spot. And for the most part, we did pretty darn good didn't uh, didn't have any big issues to deal with. Here's the final product, our new attic stairs. They will not only hold my weight, but they will also hold the weight of whatever it is I'm carrying upstairs. Uh, we did have to add some shimming with some thinner 1x8s. Uh, the bolts went in pretty good, mostly square, but not perfect had some issues cutting the ends of the stairs to fit, uh, but the Sawzall once again came in handy. And all in all, we're happy. We feel safe going up and down the stairs now.